my name is Emily and I'm an intern at Project Cure. Today I'll be showing you how to test and prepare an EKG machine. The biomed area of the Project Cure warehouse is pretty big and EKG machines can be found anywhere in the warehouse. Sometimes they're standing over here on stands or on the shelf right here. And oftentimes you can find them back here behind the shelving. Make sure that if a project cure, or that if an EKG machine already has a sticky note on it, it's probably already been tested. Today we're going to test this machinery. Before we can test the devices, we're going to need a power cord to make sure that our device can turn on. Power cords are right over here. You're going to want a power cord that has both a wall plug, like this, and a connection that'll fit with your machine. Notice that this one has a clip right here that'll lock it into the device. If this clip is broken or missing, don't use that power cord because it could be dangerous. The first thing we need to do is check for power. Simply plug in the power cord, ensure that it's plugged into the wall, and hit the power button. If the screen lights up, then you're good to go, and the machine is working. Notice when the machine turns on, it'll say adult mode right here. If it says Neo, PED, or some other kind of mode, then get help because it's not in the right settings for you to be able to test it. Sometimes when we plug the machine in and turn it on, it gives a beeping noise like this or the screen doesn't turn on. If that's the case, the battery is probably dead. Leave a sticker like this that says low battery or needs battery replaced and return it to where you found it. The next thing we're going to look for is the different connections we have on the machine and the kind of cords we're going to be needing for each. Where it says ECG or EKG, that's where we'll be testing the heartbeat of the patient. So we're going to need a cord that has six prongs. Where it says NIBP, that's the blood pressure cuff. So we're going to need a blood pressure tubing that has this kind of attachment. Because this machine says T, T1 and T2, that means we'll be testing temperature as well. So we're going to need a cord that fits into this hole that can test temperature. And finally, where it says SpO2, that's where we'll be testing the oxygen. So we're going to need a connection that fits into this hole. Now we'll go look for the cords over here. Your electrode cords can be found in this area right here. Next to it, in this area, are your temperature sensing cords. And on the end right here are your SpO2 measurement uh, cords and devices. Blood pressure cords can be found right over here. So now that we've found where our cords are, we're going to double check that the connections work. This is our EKG cord. As you can see, the attachment to the machine has six prongs, just like the connection. So it should plug in right here. Now the EKG cord has typically has three to five electrodes on it that look like this. One black, one red, and one white. If it has five electrodes, that's also okay, but you can only test the machine with three or five electrodes on the cord. Next, we're going to try the blood pressure tubing. This blood pressure tubing is a screw-on attachment. So as you can see, it fits onto the cord and we'll be able to attach the blood pressure testing devices to this end. Next we have the pulse oximeter. As you can see, this is the correct connection for the pulse ox testing part. You want to make sure that you lock in the pulse ox cord too so that you don't get an error in your reading. On the other end of the pulse ox cord is a connection like this. You're going to need to find a finger probe like this that can clip into your connection on your pulse ox cord. The connection should click in completely so that you can reattach to the lid to the pulse ox cord. Finally, we have the temperature cord. Now, not all machines are going to need a temperature cord. But if you have the attachment for the temperature, you should be able to plug it in into T1 or T2, like that. Another thing to check, see how in this probe there's a red light? If the red light is not on, 
you don't have a working finger probe and you'll need to go find another one in the back. Once you have your cords fitted properly, you're going to need some other tools to be able to test your devices. First, in these cabinets, there should be a bin with a bottle and a series of blood pressure cuffs, which you'll need to test blood pressure. If you have a temperature testing machine, like we do here, you're going to need some temperature probes, which should also be in a small blue container like this. Finally, you're going to need the SIM cube, which is over in this cabinet here. Now you're ready to go. So the SIM cube is used to test blood pressure and heart rate on your EKG machine. What you're going to need to do is first take your uh, electrode cord. On the side of the SIM cube, you'll see plugs with different colors. You need to connect your electrode cord to each of the corresponding colors on the side of the SIM cube. You're also going to need to plug the SIM cube in. Next, you're going to need to attach the SIM cube to the blood pressure mechanism on your EKG machine. And that's going to require some of these adapters in here. Now, because our cord has this connection on this end, we're going to look for a corresponding adap three-way adapter that will connect to this cord. Once we have the connection, we'll put this part onto the blood pressure component of the SIM cube. And make sure it clicks in so that you can't pull it and remove it, otherwise the test won't work. Finally, we're going to connect this end to a blood pressure cuff, which we will place around this bottle here. If the connection on the bottle doesn't work, simply remove the cuff and replace the cuff with the correct connection onto the bottle. The last step is to find the temperature probe, which will connect to the end of the temperature cord you found earlier. As you can see, this has two prongs in the temperature cord, so we're going to look for a temperature probe in here that also has a two-prong connection, like this. Now that all of our cords are connected, we're ready to test the device. The first thing you should notice on your EKG machine is the heart rate, heart rate area, which has 70 BPM. This should correspond to the same number on your SIM cube under ECG or respirations. The next easy thing to test is your SpO2. Simply put your finger into the finger probe and wait until the SpO2 displays a number. This number should be higher than 90. If it's not higher than 90, you should ask for help. The next easy thing to check is the temperature. Simply place the temperature probe into your hand or put it on your stomach under your shirt and you should see a temperature number here close to about body temperature, which is about 98 degrees Fahrenheit or 37 degrees Celsius when it shows Celsius on some of the machines. The next thing to test is blood pressure. To do this, you're going to need to double check that the NIBP has a green light at adult 120 over 80. Then you can press the NIBP button and press start. This will start to run the, blood, the SIM cube, which is right now inflating the blood pressure cuff on the bottle. This may take a couple minutes. Now you can see the blood pressure reading right here or right here. We have a reading of 121 over 81. Now we need to check the numbers here next to adult, 120 over 80. As long as each of the numbers are within five of the numbers displayed on the SIM cube, this machine is working. If not, 
there might be a problem and you'll probably need to ask for help. We'll have to test the blood pressure one more to make sure that the machine can read a high blood pressure. Press the yellow button until you get to high on the SIM cube. And then start the blood pressure again. Sometimes the machine will say retry. That's okay. Let the machine re reinflate the blood pressure cuff and wait to see if it gets a reading. If it can't get a reading, then you might need to readjust the cuff and try again. So now after taking the high reading, you can see that our reading says 190 over 122. This corresponds to the SIM cube that we set to be 190 over 120. Since both of these values are within five of the value on the SIM cube, this machine is working for blood pressure. Sometimes you might get an error, such as low battery or equipment alert. If that's the case, you're going to need to write a sticky note that says the problem on the front of the screen and put it back in this area to, be, to have the battery charged. If you have an error that says the probe is detached, you might need to check your connections here and ensure that all of your probes are working. The last thing we need to do to test the EKG machines is to double check that they can print. Press either print trends or snapshot and out of the side of the machine you should see a piece of paper that will return a graph like this. If it doesn't work, you might not have the right paper. Otherwise, you're good to go. The machine said out of paper when you tried to print, look for this kind of wall in this shelf back here. You're going to need to make sure that the width of the roll is the right size for the machine that you have, otherwise it still won't print. If you have any questions with this part, you're always welcome to ask somebody for help. Once you've done all of your tests and you've checked SpO2, blood pressure, temperature, and the EKG on this machine, and none of the tests failed, you don't have any broken or missing parts, then you're ready to send this machine to be cleaned and packaged. Remove the uh, blood pressure cuff and bottle from the blood pressure tube and take the temperature probe off of the temper co temperature cord that you took. Then you're going to need to put a sticky note that says working on the front of the machine so that they know that this machine has been tested. Now you're going to take the whole machine with the cords that you used to test it and send it over here to be cleaned. You can place your device here if it's working and ready to be cleaned. And then you're finished. Way to go! Now you're an expert EKG tester.